doing? is doing well today. Uh, D-Dub's here. Decided to go over a gameplay that I did earlier. Um, not a super duper high kill cypher gameplay, but I feel like some of the plays that I do make uh, helped out at the team a ton. So hopefully you can kind of learn something from this. A uh, few things you can do as a cypher to greatly benefit the team. Uh, this works for low elo, obviously, since I am in low elo. And, you know, hey, maybe even high elo, this help you as well. But um, yes. pretty much the basis of this is I'm just kind of reviewing my gameplay. Uh, that way it helps me as well. So obviously where I place the camera there, a cypher, pretty strong spot. You can watch C long and obviously you can peek over at garage. Uh, usually a pretty obvious spot. A lot of people actually shoot it there, but you'll see a few spots that I throw the cam later. Uh, the important thing with those cameras is to make sure you pop them all over the place. So at this point, I kind of rotate, move a little bit more towards B, since I do know that I do have those cameras there. I can watch C long. I know when they're going to push it. And then obviously I can check to the left on camera and see whether or not they're Smoke's pushing it from there. Here smokes go down A, obviously rotate towards A. A little bit. Planting so, it. So now that we know that it's A, I don't need to check my cams anymore. Uh, I can kind of let that sit. So here I try to peek with my teammate. Uh, still getting used to the frenzy a little bit, but how are those body or leg shots? Does that even make sense? <laughs> Me raging a little bit, that's fine. It's casual. I'll try not to talk over the in-game comms too much. Uh, like I said, early on, not really a big deal, but towards the latter half, I'll probably talk a little bit less, uh, unless I'm referring to a certain play. So, uh, obviously right there, Omen kind of got caught with his pants down. <laughs> They're messing around there. So, uh, every round, obviously, you want to try and keep trip wires and cages. Uh, they are for the most part, your biggest use item. I would probably even prioritize them over weaponry a lot of times. Um, here you're gonna see me kind of... This goes here. Excuse me. Here you're gonna see me testing cam spots. And then eventually I just have to give it up. But obviously with that you can still somewhat see garage and then obviously you can see uh, see long, which is what I'm going to peek right here. Smoke I can C. see over the top of it. My camera is destroyed. And obviously, I got to get used to that being a projectile as well. So I throw my cage there, and then I hold it there for a second before I activate it. That way, I can kind of push up on garage a little bit. I uh, it did end up didn't end up committing to it since I forgot that my trip bar was there. So then I try to peek here. Uh, end up getting. Double peaked. And obviously here, they go for the plant. Spike planted. Uh, obviously they're fully committed to C. Brimstone gets a nice standing. pick there. And then Viper is the last one alive. Uh, one thing I would recommend if you are Brimstone in this case is to... So even just knowing the health of one of the enemies can kind of help with that other one. Uh, obviously she still gets both, so not a really huge deal, but that is an important thing to note. It can really help out your team just knowing how much they're lit for. Maybe stop someone from panicking. All right, and then now this round, I start to get a little more serious with my cam placements. I'm like, okay, well that one kind of got seen a little easily. So I was like, well, maybe I can toy around with this. And you can actually place it just oh, barely above that box. Um, it's gonna block off your garage vision, but it actually cool, is harder for them to peek from long. And then here, not one of my brightest moments, but, uh, oh, never mind. So here I hold garage 
Uh, obviously from here, I can peek across garage. I can check that window. And then if someone actually pushes me uh, and I die, I can still get the tripwire off at least, even though I can't see sight. But as you can see, I kind of go back and forth here. Uh, an important thing to note that I didn't notice right away is you actually have to pretty much fully re-equip your gun uh, after checking cam. So you'll see I start to get the gun prepared beforehand, or in garage. which that kind of <laughs> throws me off on that one, but it still works out overall. So obviously I can't really see over with cam, but I can at least tag. So I went for the tag on that one. Don't remember if I got the tag on that omen, we'll find out here in a minute, but here I thought maybe I could try and peek over the smoke. So I decided to cage Viper in the corner. And then Jet obviously finds her. So that was actually just bad timing for me. And I was gonna grab that vandal. Uh, an important thing to note here, as you can see I'm down to three armor. Uh, I really should have bought armor this round. It actually would have helped me a ton, uh, had I. Yes, this should I usually wanna make sure that you stay at least above 25 armor or so. Off. Oh, this is a nice spot. There, I just dropped the one tripwire. Really, I should be have been using two this whole time, but uh, I opted for just using the one. And then here, I'm pretty much just gonna do the same thing I did last round. Just make sure I watch garage. As from where I'm at, I can see both garage and see long, which is actually a ton of info. Like being able to hold two angles from one spot is obviously really strong. And then there, I just check C long, just because we're not 100% sure whether or not the bomb is A yet. But um, obviously, just checking that cam every once in a while. It's a huge amount of help. On site, default. One enemy and then now, obviously, we know where bomb is. So, Jet's able to just hop up here, clean up the kill. Good job. Make sure. Always checking for verticality. It's definitely something to get used to. There, I kind of trade out. I'm like, eh, well, we'll see how that one goes since I haven't. They haven't really seen it yet. I was like, maybe if I hold it a little bit higher, I'll at least be able to see garage, which obviously you can't, but. And then here, obviously, I'm just going for the free mid, mid site. So as uh, every other round's gone pretty much, I was going to go up there and watch for the garage, but set out for that and then obviously always just checking C long just to make sure no one's sneak rotating towards it uh, here not necessarily the best play I kind of just go charging in I do break that door though just in case I need to uh, do a last second spray down obviously we see B is now uh, mid window so I kind of try to come in here with this teammate, throw it on a cage. That way if he does try to push directly through to us, it'll kind of, it plays a sound effect, that way we know. And I was going to throw a second cage, but I end up getting tagged there. I play very passive when I play Cypher. That's what I've noticed. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing though. And my usual thing is until a cam actually gets found in, her, in a game, I'll usually just keep throwing it to the same spot. Uh, you'll notice that as the games go on. Uh, there will actually be a really good spot that I throw the camera in later on. This goes here. And uh, the spot that I throw it in later on 
actually stays there for quite a while. There, I just peek it once. I really shouldn't have peeked it more than once, just because they are using a sniper. But me being stubborn me, I decided to do it anyway, since I was like, like, well, she's not necessarily noticing the camera. And then obviously she had an op, so she one shots me. In my head, she had a marshal, but obviously after getting killed, I'm like, oh, that's an op. And I actually didn't think that they would have an op already. Uh, also not really sure what he was doing there. He kind of just, I don't know if he was trying to counter all or what was going on there, but. Yeah, if you see that area, make sure you get out of it if you can. If not, obviously, not a huge deal. So here's where I kind of, after that play, I kind of change up my play style. I realize, oh wait, no, <laughs> not yet, not yet. All right, one more round and then I realize, okay, I'm not a very good shot this game. So I should probably uh, play a little bit different help out the team a little bit more. Yes, this should do. Oh, this is a nice really here I should have peeked this, especially since they had the upper hand, but I went for the shot. Are you fucking kidding me? How? But I got mad. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. She literally Smoke just down. couldn't fucking hit shit last time. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Smoke's down. Uh, it did take her quite a while to actually land a shot at me the first time, so I was confident that I could out-op her, and obviously got out-opped, so <laughs> let that be a lesson. Just because they were a bad shot last round doesn't mean they're going to be a bad shot the next round. And then here, Brimstone gets pinched. And it's not looking too hot for our heroes we know more than we did before which this game was actually interesting too uh, I believe the sage on their team is actually a silver and we have two bronze uh, players on our team at this point I kind of suck it up I'm like okay I'm not being a whole lot of help I'm just peeking that non-stop um, there's no point in me dying every round, as that's obviously not going to be helpful to my team. So I decide to play a lot more passive. I just play the cameras and uh, let the let everyone come to me. Here I assumed Omen would TP to our spawn, as that's usually what they do. Uh, and with that, as soon as I saw yeah, him uh, coming towards C from our spawn, I knew that they were going to be pushing spawn. And here I I don't actually take the shot because I'm giving my team info here. Um, and I'm not giving away our cam spot either. Because here, and obviously I'm a bad shot with it. <laughs> but as long as I don't hit them with this, they actually have no idea where it's at. So I decide to sights on her, she's default. Yep. So I just stay on the cam, uh, let them know exactly where she's at. That way the team can clean up the kill. So even though this game I'm not picking up as many kills myself, uh, I'm giving enough information to my team that they're able to get the kills. And then so essentially I'm like kind of getting assists. But since they were so clueless about the camera that last oh, game nice. or that last round, I decided to throw it in the same spot this round, uh, at least until they find it. And then obviously you always want to mix up uh, your tripwire spots. Yes. Except that one. That one I threw in the same exact spot. So, obviously here I play back. Uh, I let the camera do the work. If anything, I can peek it real quick. And obviously with that position I can see Garage. And I can see them coming in from C-Long. Even if I might not be able to actually see C-Long itself. Uh, at this point we know Bomb is down mid-window. But obviously, he's always checking C. Because it's, they could obviously just pick that up really quick. No more charges left. Cage triggered. 
I really didn't know th need to throw two there, but I'm gonna almost garage doors. And so here, it's actually kind of perfect. Even though there's only two of us left, uh, I'm watching B, my teammate's watching A, and I can actually also watch C at the same time. So there, I obviously can left. see that they smoked. Both C, I believe. Yep, they're, they're both C. Tag Omen there, give that info to my teammate. Planted. Planted default. And I tag him, come around, tag him. Obviously, you want to be looking for those one taps instead, though. I was aiming kind of low on both them, but because they were both lower on health, it ended up working out. And they still never shot my camera either, even though Omen clearly got shot in the back with it, but. And so from this round on, for the most part, we're able to actually hold pretty well. Maybe I do move my camera here. Yeah, I end up moving my camera back to the regular spot and obviously try and get across quick. That way they can't snipe me from long. So always, like I said, it's pretty much a free peek at C long. Uh, here I actually kind of get broke camera C, uh, caught off guard, walk in here, Viper's there, bombs down, <laughs> Phoenix is there, bombs in garage. So I end up actually getting two really good picks there, uh, and we get bomb down, which is huge. Grab an omen there, good job guys. Almost got the sage there, but brimstone came up. Uh, to clean up the kill for us. Check out those sweet B hops. And here I go with the same cam spot in the corner. I'm like, you know what? They didn't really peep at that last game. So I'll go in a similar spot. Because that's nice because they don't really check it like right as soon as they walk yes, through there occasionally you'll get some people that do but um usually people expect it to be watching down sea long uh, but with where i have it obviously like i said before i can see into garage at least a little bit and then uh, i can catch them when they're coming from sea long even just being able to see the smokes Prepare is for huge hellfire. So at this point, I kind of abandon C since I still have cam down. I can check it every once in a while. Uh, and I rotate towards A with the rest of my team. Since they have so many pushed up to A, and then obviously I, we start to hear the bomb plant. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure if it was B or A, just because of uh, like all my team already being there. I thought it was kind of a ballsy plant, but obviously they kind of felt like they were backed up with it. That one I kind of messed up. Under heaven. I pulled out my coin instead of pulling out my cage. And that's almost a really good play by Proxy actually to drop the the cloud. That way she get the shot off. But. Last round before the switch. Ah, uh, she just wasn't ready for the where she was at. Obviously, I picked up a lot of funds here, but my team full bought. So, I mean, really, we could have kind of flipped it around a little bit more, but that goes there. Unless they called for it, I I just went ahead and kept the funds yes, for myself, and then obviously came there. Oh, this is a nice spot. Another thing I would note, like I said, I do go through a lot of utility, uh, usually at minimum, unless I get a chance to pick up my trip wires, I'm spending a minimum of 400 per round. Which is a lot more than a lot of other characters, I would say, in terms of their use of utility.
in here, obviously, like I said, I'm just safe spot checking. I don't need to reveal myself. I can just use my cameras to do all the work for me that I don't have to worry about getting picked off. Bad crosshair placement, Damien. <laughs> checking garage, that way I can get an initial entrance. Notice how much they're throwing at A and realize, okay. Looks like we should go there. Bombs down A, so obviously they gotta be committed at this point. And catch Viper in the corner reloading. Switching sides. Now offensive cipher a little bit different. A little bit harder to play. Big thing I would note with Cypher when you're playing offense is make sure that you are throwing your tripwires kind of behind you just in case they do try to flank. Uh, this just helps that way you can peel away a pair of eyes and you can all focus pushing point together. And then a decent cam spot I like to do off the rip of a point is this one right here. Throw it, check it. Uh, obviously, if they have a sniper, they're going to be able to peep that. And there, I noticed my teammates are getting slowed by me, so I decided to bunny hop through the fire. Burning through a lot of ammo relatively quickly. <laughs> Burn down Sage. Check cam, make sure no one's trying to flank us. Now at this point, we know they're both pushing from CT. Uh, Oops. So at this point, I know that one CT. Go ahead, push her. Uh, other teammate cleans her up. I'm left with two bullets and grab the ghost and clean up the kill. <laughs> Never run out of bullets, guys. Make sure you keep track of how many bullets that you still have. Never never had the problem where I run out of bullets before. <laughs> never have, hopefully never will again. <laughs> so obviously on a win, uh, I still have my weapon that I picked up last round. Uh, grab shields just to break even with the rest of the team. And then obviously fill up on uh, expendables, consumables, whatever you want to call them. So, since I see we're gonna do a B push, I go ahead and throw down a tripwire there just in case they come up behind us. I decided to do a quick check here just in case. And then I actually throw a cam. There's a decent spot right there they can throw it. And if you put it there, you can see just the corner of heaven without exposing the camera too much. And then here, obviously, I back up. Uh, get with the rest of my teammates, sit on spike. That way we can push together as a team. Someone in the corner, right? Yeah, we all kind of just make sure we take our time. I check cam C, make sure no one's coming up behind on our flank. And then obviously, like I said, our tripwire is there as well, just in case. See the acid, bunny hop through it quick. Start getting shot in the back, hitting B window. Spike planted. Uh, getting shot from mid doors again. One enemy remaining. Last the teammate goes standing. down. Last one was mid doors, I believe. Piper goes in with three bullets, realize a little bit. Good try. And can't quite clean it up, but not a huge deal. I said mid doors. <laughs> Don't call me a liar. <laughs> I know what I said. Shoot the bad guys. How's that for a plan? Uh, like I said, as usual, fill up on consumables. I kind of wait a second to decide what my team is doing. See that they're doing those. Another important note, don't forget to buy a weapon, guys. It's a bad idea. 
I get too preoccupied throwing up consumables and everything like, or throwing out my consumables that I completely forgot to buy a vandal, which I thought I did. And then this camera actually throw up. Go to switch to my first weapon. Realize I don't have one. What did I not buy? Uh, so now I just kind of have to go in. Pistols ablaze. And so here I wait for the molly. Decide I'm going to push garage. Since I can't really help my teammates much with the long push. Right, push through the smoke, make sure to check the corner. And then I decide I'm going to go ahead and overtake CT spawn. <laughs> Not much you can do with a pistol there. I could have went for a headshot, obviously, but... Jet with the scout no scope picks up the specter. One enemy remaining. Finishes off uh, Phoenix since he didn't have any heals. For some reason, get a big lag spike in there. I remember that happening. Decided to switch, and we have the timer down low enough that we got a clean uh, victory on that round. Kept three alive. Pour the salt. This time I remember to buy my weapon. Make sure. I looked myself in the eyes in the mirror after that one. I was like, make sure you buy a weapon this time. 10-5 uh, here, have a pretty strong lead. Other team starts getting toxic with each other. Uh, just to know guys, don't get toxic with your teammates. If you get toxic with your teammates, everyone gets toxic with each other and makes the throw 10 times worse. We were on a round switch and then they still kind of get decimated there. Or that's kind of what caused them to get completely decimated. Uh, so here I decide to go for my cam spot again, just cause I do kind of have that reach with it. We can check heaven. Uh, heaven's clear for right now. Before we smoke it off. There's just nice cause I can kind of still see what's happening and hold our flank at the same time. Shot here, but I don't know where. One watching sewers. Oh no, not yet. That might be a different. That might even be a different game. But here's my nice. heaven. I can sit there, continue call heaven, and then there's nothing the other team can really do anything about it unless they take eyes off of one of our players to take out the cam. And then here, I decide to peek heaven with my teammate. He cleans it up. And then obviously there, Good job. I, I can watch for if they push heaven. Which is a decent possibility since we walled it off. Two rounds left to go, we decide to go ahead and do a nice little A push again, oh, I believe. Yes, this should go. Throw down a couple trip wires. That way if anyone does try to flank us, we all catch it. Can someone get this? And then the reason I actually hold this is you can actually just barely peep the top of someone's head if they do try to push sewers aggressively. And again here, like I said, just grabbing that cam spot, throwing it there. Obviously, clear as of right now. I can clear it, make sure that when my teammates push out, they know that they're going to be safe. And then here, obviously, I just pulled the flank, grab Omen. Omen was behind. Always make sure you have someone watching your back, guys. Always. Bad crosshair placement here, don't do that. Terrible crosshair placement. Here I decide to catch, uh, check cam quick, check heaven again. Just kind of helps clear up an angle for my teammates. Even just getting a tag on Omen would be really strong there. Grab a quick pick there. And 
end up throwing the cage way too far. <laughs> cage triggered. Can't pick those up, unfortunately. Match point. Let's and here we're obviously at match point. 12, 12, 5, 12, 5. I'm gonna I'm gonna rank up. I'm gonna become silver boys. Okay. <laughs> FYI, if you're iron two, you cannot rank up to silver. No. Uh, best you would be able to get iron three. Yeah, you also have to get iron two and three. Flat goes there. Oh wait. You are too. This goes Good here. <laughs> Good job. So we decided to just go ahead and do a hard push here. I go ahead and just check for him anyway. Just cause a guy like that. <laughs> Someone calls knife battle. Uh so about halfway through, right about here, I'm like, oh yeah, knife battle. One enemy remaining. After that person. So I'm like, oh yeah, knife battle. Sweet, they're in there. So I push in. Man does not have a knife. <laughs> decided to go for the knife anyway. And Brimstone cleans up the kill. So yeah, that's a Cypher gameplay. That's what you can do even if you don't get a super duper high kill game. Uh, I believe I go pretty average here. Just barely over a 1 ratio, potentially. I don't remember. I don't think I checked the score. I might. Rating greatly increased. Mocking. And yep, 12-9. So I didn't so actually you, carry it. You still get the low average. Yeah. I explain score. it. Because in terms of that game, the amount of info that I gave was insane. Exactly. So, uh, that's going to wrap it up there. Hope everyone enjoyed, and hope everyone learned something as well. So, I'll see you guys all next time.